We are continuing to track breaking news this morning. A shooting in Seattle with multiple victims. Fox 13's Nikki Torres is live with the details. Good morning, Nikki. What are you learning? Maria, good morning. It is still unclear exactly how many victims there were. However, according to Seattle police, we know that there were at least around four because they are now being treated at local hospitals, one of them here at Swedish. And according to police, there was actually a victim here, a man in his 20s who was shot in his lower back and ankle. He crashed his car into the entrance here of Swedish First Hill Hospital. We can see that there is a light pole down based on the tracks that we are looking at. It looks like he may have gone through the shrubs. That crash car was shot at multiple times according to SPD but that is not the only victim there was another woman in her 20s with a gunshot wound that actually grazed her head she was taken to Harborview Medical Center but at last check she is stable there is another man who police say in his 20s was shot in the finger and then there was another man in his 20s who walked into the Kaiser Permanente Hospital he was shot in his right leg now according to SPD this happened just after 2 30 this morning this was on Broadway and East Pike Street on the Capitol Hill neighborhood. Now, according to SPD, um, the medical conditions for each victim, those vary from stable to serious. However, none of the injuries appear to be life-threatening as of this time. They say that the suspect took off and there have been no arrests as of this time. But um, as far as the location goes, again, this was the Capitol Hill neighborhood and uh, it was right around the intersection where there is a QFC and also a Shell gas station. You may be familiar with this area because just several weeks ago is when they had Capitol Hill block party. Again, details are still limited this morning as this is still an active investigation. As soon as we learn more from SPD on any of the identities for the victims or any suspects, we'll bring that to you here first. Again, still unclear, however, how many victims there are specifically. We're live in Seattle this morning. I'm Nikki Torres, Fox 13 News.